Welcome to the studio, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name Chris Beat, the drummer boy, and you will welcome back to World Wave Radio, where we bring the world to you. So today is going to be a very quick tutorial. I know I say we're it's going to be a very quick tutorial, and it ends up being like a 10 minutes video. I mean, 10 minute video is quick, if you ask me. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 things you should do when you are not feeling as creative as you should be as a music producer or as a musician or as anything you do. But before we go into that, the class I've told you guys, the Learn with Chris Beat has started. So you can click the link below to sign up for a callback. They will call you back and then you can set it up if you want to do an online training with Chris Beat. It's just a one month thing. I think the session is starting by the end of January. So with that said, let's get straight back to the video after the intro. What? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's still Chris Beat, the drummer boy. So number one thing you should do is taking a break from music generally. Just go for a while. Try to do other things. Just move. Take a break. Move. Do other things. When you come back to it, you come back to it with a fresh mind. It refreshes your mind and it gives you new ideas. When you come into it, you hear something you were not hearing before. So definitely, definitely taking a break. I recommend this one. The second thing you should do when you're feeling less creative is practice more. Practice your music practice instruments learn maybe learn to play an instrument remember i told you guys i'm, all, I'm always learning instruments god, god help me i'm always learning instruments so learn a new instrument it will help spark new ideas in your workflow it will help give you ideas that you you didn't think of before so yes definitely when you're feeling uncreative when you're feeling less creative try to practice and the third thing you should do is to listen to music I know this one sounds like a cliche, but trust me, it's to listen to music, listen to varieties of genres all across the world, you know, from rock to akpala. I even go as far as listening to akpala. Akpala is a genre in Nigeria, if you don't know what that is. Listen to varieties of music from different genres to create like a new perspective of your own music it will give you a new perspective to your own music from the mix from the way the vocals sound from the way they lay the vocals remember i told you there's an old way that you record afro beats there's a new way to take afro beats vocals now there's no we don't do so much doubling 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 like we used to do expect except you as you expect except you want to make a particular kind of afro beats a particular kind of voicing the fourth thing you should do is to collaborate with others i said this in my previous video that collaborating with other musicians can help you stimulate new ideas and give a refreshed perspective to your music so the fifth thing you should do is to try new sounds and techniques you know try what you've not tried before sometimes the way i do it is me i go on other daw that i don't use to try to make music from there and before you know it i'll come up with something crazy trying out new ideas and techniques can help spark up and inspiration and create new ideas for you that you can use to make more music. So the sixth thing you can do when you're feeling less creative is write down your ideas. Write down your ideas. See, I have this tab here. I'm always using this to keep tab of everything I want to do in a project, you know? So let's say, oh, I have an idea of creating a particular type of loop that I want to use in a project later, or maybe I'm designing it for wow sounds. I have the idea down, I write it. So write your ideas, keep a notebook or journal that helps you organize your thoughts or gives you a reference point when you're feeling stuck, when you don't know exactly where to go. So if you have a journal that you keep all your ideas in, you can always go back there and check through like, oh, I remember, oh, I said, and <laughs> This was supposed to be a serious video for crying out loud, Chris. The seventh thing you should do is try to take a walk or engage in other creative activities like, you know, maybe painting, maybe going to play football, maybe doing other things that can help stimulate your creativity. Something that shifts your mind away from your actual thing. And then, you know, when you come back to it, you've exercised your other part of your brain, all that, this thing. Maybe go and, you know, okay, I shouldn't say that here. <laughs> So yes, it can help stimulate new ideas and you come back with a spark. But number eight, 
reflect on your music so number eight reflect on your music take some time to look through your music look through all you've done look through maybe old records look through how far you've come try to go back open those old projects that you've not done anything to in a while or maybe those those beats that used to sound banging to you reopen them revisit them those songs that you felt like oh this was the song that would give me the breakthrough but didn't reopen them try to see if you can adjust one or two things and then you'll be surprised at how those old records can inspire a lot so number nine try to get feedbacks from people let know what they think about what you do people that will give you honest feedbacks you know try to you think of yourself as a business or as yeah as a company your, the feedbacks of your of your um customers really matters to you try to get feedbacks and uh try to listen to maybe professionals get to professionals like us <laughs> yes so try to see a professional like us to uh listen to your stuff tell you oh this is what you need to do this is what this is what you need to adjust which is what we are doing with the land with chris beat that i told you about in the beginning of this video is an avenue for maybe a beginner so we're not mixing the class we have beginner semi um beginner and pro and then we have advanced you know so if you're an advanced person we'll talk about advanced stuff if you're still a beginner we'll talk about beginner stuff if you are still trying to better you know somewhere in between we talk about the in-between stuff and i can listen to your stuff and tell you maybe some things that you are doing wrong or where you are approaching your music wrong or if you are doing something right or what you need to be doing you know from branding and all those seeing a music professional can help give you a better view a better idea you know give you another perspective to your music that can spark a new creativity in you and the last but not the least which is the tenth one is to challenge yourself challenge yourself i always talk about this in different ways i still challenge myself to date i still say oh let me go to a place and make what 200 sample packs and then after making 200 sample packs i come back i adjust i say oh no this one i'm not using oh this i want to keep for my personal use oh this i want to include in this set creative challenges for yourself such as writing songs in a different style from your this is for songwriters writing the song in a different style that you've never done before which is making beats in a style that you don't you normally would not go to this helps you to stimulate your creativity again remember we're always talking about stimulation stimulation is very important that you stimulate your creativity it's very important that you stimulate your creativity and it gives you new ideas as well so Try these tips today and thank me tomorrow. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'll see you in the next class. I love you.